this is um YouTube channel. Yeah, new to it. Um, so this camera smells so good. I got this in TJ Maxx. So it's a happily ever after. It was only seven dollars. Like. I love candles, but, um, hmm, well, I wanted to do something today just to get my channel started, so, um, I can't do any pranks because, well, I can't do any pranks right now because I'm home alone and there's no one to put pranks on right now. <sighs> Alright, so, um, I just love candles, I guess that's like what I'm pretty much thinking about right now, just candles. Like I could talk hours about candles, but no, I'm not gonna. All right, so pretty much I will just tell you our story. So, story time. All right, so I'm gonna tell you. I'm sorry, this just smells so good. All right, so I'm gonna tell you the story when the, my strawberry shortcake doll came to life tried to kill me true story like um i forgot how old i was i was probably eight or seven and um i was so obsessed with strawberry shortcake so um i remember my mom she i went to puerto rico because over here the doll was expensive so she was going on vacation to Puerto Rico, so she told me if um, she finds the doll over there, that she'll get it for me because apparently they're cheaper over there. So um, I remember she had called me and she told me that she had found the doll and I was so excited for her to come back with the doll. I was excited because she got me the doll, so I really didn't care. She was coming on. I'm just well, I cared that she was coming because you know she had my doll, but I was more excited to see the doll than to see my mom. All right, so um, the day she returned from Puerto Rico, I was sick. I had like the flu or something. So I was sleeping, and my mom had came in, and she gave me a kiss on the forehead. She placed the doll near me and I woke up well I was awake so I had woke up and I just grabbed the doll and I went to my mom's room and I was so happy and I was just thanking her for getting me the doll so um I remember I had to go to Florida to visit my dad so um of course I took the doll, the doll with me so while we was in the um the airplane I had to jet blue so you know how um jet blue this TV is behind the seat and you could um pick whatever you want to watch so I was watching cartoons and my oldest sister she was like oh they they giving Chucky in this channel so I was like okay cool so I put on Chucky and I was watching him so I had changed in and I put my cartoons back so I was tired so I had like close my eyes and then I opened my eyes and Chucky was like on the freaking TV so I'm just like <laughs> so I looked over to my sister and I'm like um did you change my channel and she was like no I was watching my channel whatever I'm like so I'm just like what the hell so I look over down at my doll and she was just like I don't know if I <laughs> she was like focus on the TV so I'm like, uh, okay, this is weird. <laughs> so, all right, we got to Florida, and you know, pretty much nothing happened with the doll while I was in Florida. Like, just a doll like everything started happening when i returned back to new york when i returned back to new york i had um i remember i remember i was in my mom's room and she was doing her hair so i was like mom can i ask you something and she was like sure like she was still facing the mirror she was not looking at me so i was like oh 
do all dolls from Puerto Rico come to life? So she had turned around, she put the blower down, and she was like, what? And I'm like, do all dolls from Puerto Rico come to life? And she just looked at me and she was like, why? And I'm like, because my doll comes to life. And um, actually, let's go back to Florida. I remember there was one time I was sleeping and I heard my doll laughing. And my doll wasn't like the doll where you go squeeze and it makes noise. No, it was like a Raggedy Ann doll of Strawberry Shortcake. So I remember one time I had placed it down to go to sleep and I heard her giggling. And I'm just like, bruh. Um, yeah, I'm going to bed. So my mom, we're going back to New York. Okay. So my mom, my doll was in my room on top of my bed. So my mom went, she grabbed the doll and she started slamming it. And she was like, I don't know, she was just like cursing at the doll. And I'm just like, beat her up, mom, beat her up. <laughs> so my mom, she had put the doll in the living room and I had slept with my mom. Cause my dad was working so I was like mom can I take a treat she was like okay so I went to go sleep with her so uh, the way I was laying down like I was laying across like that like straight down like that my mom was laying straight I don't know I didn't want to sleep next to her so I was just laying cross down so laying cross down the room door was open so I could see the whole way down to see the living room and I saw my dog so like I just stared at her and I fell asleep and then that night I woke up choking I woke up choking and I remember when I was choking I heard the giggling from the doll so I'm just like oh my god like I woke up out of breath and I had to run to the bathroom and I threw up and my mom was like what's going on I'm like choked me that's what's going on that possessed ass doll choked me came into the room and choked me so my mom after she thought i was bugging out <laughs> i thought i was bugging out too but to this day i believe that doll choked me like i hate dolls now i hate dolls my daughter she has a lot of dolls and i keep them in boxes like i put everything in a box because i don't play with them mm -mm. I mean, she don't have, I, I feel strawberry shortcake. If my doll was to come in here, like if her grandmother was to give her a doll strawberry shortcake, my daughter and that doll is not allowed in my house. <laughs> I'm like, no, <laughs> stay with the doll out there. Don't bring that in here. Um, but, um, yeah, my mom, she was like, oh, um, so like that morning, I, she sent me to school. So I was like, Mom, what are you going to do with the doll? And she was like, oh, I'm going to get rid of it um, before you come from school. So I was like, okay, cool. She didn't get rid of it. She put it in a box and kept it behind the house. And I found out that a doll was still living in that house when I was 10. I had to go back there to get something out from the box. And once I opened the box, guess who I see? Strawberry shortcake, and I made eye contact with her. I'm just like, so you know, I had to take care of business myself because my mom couldn't do it. So I cut her head off because I wasn't playing, <laughs> I was not playing. Like, mm -mm. that is scary, that is very scary. So to this day I fear dolls I I just hate dolls like mm -mm -mm. don't bring no dolls around me even though my daughter has dolls but I keep them in boxes and top of boxes because I don't do that um so that's pretty much it for story time <laughs> so if y'all want to if y'all want more story time or pranks or anything you want to see on my channel, just comment down below. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like. Um, my 
god i need to go out to tj maxx and find this candle and oh my god i'm telling you you fall in love is this one i bought two other ones but they in the living room but this one i keep in my room because i just love the smell to it and it's so cute it says happily ever after and it was only seven dollars like you can't go bad with seven dollars like i love candles i love i just love them i just love like Like, that's so beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, um, just let me know what you want to see on my channel, and I'll do it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Before all I heard was silence. And bye.